What's up guys, this is DK with MBL, and welcome to the first episode of DK's Take. Today we're going to be focusing on rumors surrounding the addition of formation subs in Madden 17 with a patch or with a update. But first, let me start off by saying that we're doing a t-shirt giveaway. Here's our t-shirt right here. Now if you want this t-shirt, make sure you like, subscribe, and that you leave a comment in the comment section saying, I want an MBL t-shirt. Also, I would like to uh, throw a shout out to uh, All Business. Uh, he's, uh, he does our graphic designs for everything MaddenBomberLeague.com. And he also does a lot of the things that we have for Twitter, as far as like our picture, profile pictures, and our backgrounds and our headers. He does all that. He does great work. So make sure you guys follow at All Business on Twitter at A-L-B-I-D-N-I-S. Also go to his website which is uh, web3ks.com, where he does affordable solutions for all your creative needs. He's an amazing guy, and he does amazing work, so make sure y'all do that. And all of the uh, descriptions for this is going to be in the, in the link below in the comment section. All right, on to formation subs. So after watching a lot of videos uh, that had a lot of people interviewing the devs, and after talking to the devs myself, they're looking to add a patch or an update for Madden 17 for formation subs. Now, this is big. And it's not like they haven't done any patches or updates throughout the season, especially for Madden 16 last year. Um, they uh, patched and update uh, facial scans. Uh, they did a month salary cap. They did. Uh, they toned down the rookies for like their high attributes and everything like that. And they fixed the O linemen in um, CFM because they were their ratings were going down like tremendously. So they've done a lot of things and patches. So this shouldn't be a problem, but I guess we'll see. Now formation subs will be huge. We want players in certain situations at certain moments. I mean, I know that you guys and, and me are annoyed that we have to go into formation subs during the game. You have 10 seconds to pick your play once the uh, offense calls their play. You're going here and going there trying to figure out what kind of scheme you want to do, and you just don't have enough time. Having formation subs beforehand that you can put together before the game will be huge. So hopefully EA does that and makes us guys happy. So I'm going to go into uh, how formation subs uh, with three different categories, how they can make uh, our lives a lot easier playing Madden. Uh, first, I want to talk about kickoff coverage. Kickoff coverage in uh, Madden 16, uh, the uh, computer kind of like predetermines who's out there. So like I might have the Steelers and have Robert Shazier or Lawrence Timmons on kickoff. I don't want those guys on kickoff. There's no reason my starters on defense should be on kickoff. Uh, that risk injury or whatever the case might be, it shouldn't be like that. I want to be able to uh, put guys like Lonnie Ballastin. He's a uh, safety from the Houston Texans. He has good speed. I think it's like 92 speed and 90 plus hit power. I want guys like that on my kickoff team. I want guys to get down the field and be able to get down there quickly and make a big hit on the ball carrier to try to force a fumble. I also want to be able to put guys with high block shed, high speed, high pursuit to make sure that we can do everything we can to keep uh, my opponent from scoring touchdowns or even making big plays on special teams as far as kickoff is, return, is concerned. Uh, next, I want to go into uh, punting. So whenever I do punt coverage, I want to be able to put my fastest guys to be the gunners on the outside. The uh, computer predetermines uh, the number three and the number four cor uh, cornerback to uh, be uh, gunners on the punt uh, team. I want to be able to put the guys that I want there. If I have a high quality uh, cornerback with good speed, but he is a number three or number four on my depth chart, I want to be able to put him on there. I want to get down the field as quickly as possible and keep the uh, returner from making big plays. So I should be able to do that. Also on a uh, punt uh, return, I want to be able to put my best blocking receivers on the outside to give me a little bit of extra time to uh, make a play on a uh, punt return. Like, I have a guy down there that's waiting for the punt, and because of the guys on the outside are not able to hold their blocks long enough, I'm getting destroyed as soon as I catch the ball if I don't call fair catch. 
I shouldn't have to call fair catch every time. I should be able to find a little time to make a play. There's punt returns and kickoff returns in the NFL, so this needs to be implemented in Madden uh, as such. Uh, next, I want to move on to uh, offense. So I want to be able to do a formation sub for certain uh, offensive situations as far as like passing. So for example, if I have the Vikings and I have Adrian Peterson, who isn't the best pass catching running back, I should be able to already have it adjusted to where I have Jarek McKinnon in to be in for all of my passing plays that I want to do with the running back. I need pass catching running backs in certain plays. So why do I have to continue to sub them in and out and for, sometimes forget that I want to put Adrian Peterson back in or a certain uh, formations that I have and I need Adrian Peterson in there, but I need to pass catch. And like, it just doesn't work out uh, for us the way we would like to. If anything, it would be nice if they had like a reset button to where if I made some formation subs in the game, I should be able to reset the formation so that I can have like my main guy still in there. But we don't have that. So uh, having the formation subs will, will totally make that so much better. Um, also, I want to be able to put my best blocking receivers and best blocking tight ends in on certain offensive plays when I'm running the ball. Whenever I have a nice running scheme, I want to be able to accommodate all my all my needs in the run game. I want to have my best blocking tight ends and best blocking uh, receivers on certain plays. I don't want to have guys that are like my speed guys who um, uh, doesn't have the best blocking, who are getting block shedded and I'm getting stopped in the backfield. Now, some plays I'm going to want them in, but if I have a certain uh, scheme to where I'm only going to be using those guys, I can have that already set up before the game starts. <clears throat> uh, next, I want to move on to being able to put certain receivers in at certain different positions on certain schemes. So, for instance, if I have Julio Jones and uh, I want to put him in a slot so that way I can have a better advantage against linebackers and safeties in some formations, I should be able to do that beforehand, not in game. I might want to move him back to the outside or something like that in a different formation. But in this certain formation, I want him to be inside. I want to be able to make the best plays possible for me, for my team, and for my scheme. Uh, also, I might want to put a more faster guy on the outside to kind of open up the top on offense so I can have like uh, other guys coming underneath. And it just opens up the game. If we have formation subs and we're able to totally critique our offense and make it so much better. It just makes the game so much better. Moving on to defense, like 4-3 wide nine, nickel wide nine, I want pass rushers. I don't want to have guys that's going to be stuffed to run in those formations. If it's a third and long or second and long or a fourth and long and they're going for it, I should be able to have my best pass rushers possible on those formations. I don't need a block shedding, high strength defensive tackle with no pass rushing ability in the middle. I should be able to put everything that I need as far as pass rushing in the inside and in the outside. Uh, along with uh, stopping the run, if it's a third and short, fourth and short, I should be able to pick a 4-6 formation or a 3-4 bear formation and be able to put my best block shedding strength of guys to stop the run. I shouldn't have uh, finesse guys with low strength and low block shedding on the D-line trying to stop the run. I mean, it's not gonna work when you're going against big offensive linemen that's pushing pushing my guys back. Um, like, I need to be able to do that beforehand. We only get 10 seconds after the offense picks their play to figure out what we wanna do on defense. Sometimes that's not long enough to make the right substitutions that you need. Whenever you have formation subs before the game, you're able to do all this before the game starts. So that way, when you're in game, you see that it's a third and one. Uh, the offense has a two running back, two tight end, one receiver personnel. You're already like, okay, I've made this uh, formation sub before the game. I know exactly where to go, and I know exactly what guys I need in to stop this, this play, especially if it's a run play. Um, formation subs is, are going to be key if we can get this in Mass 17. It's going to really help a scheme a lot better. Along with these, all the new gaps, uh, assignments, all the new zone assignments. Like this would just make defense fun. That's what we want. Like a lot of guys don't like playing defense. I love defense. Defense is what wins games. If I can keep my opponent from uh, not scoring, 
then all I gotta do is find a way to get three points and I'm in the game. So defense is fun and I want defense to be fun for everybody. You know, offense sells tickets, but defense wins championships. Um, that's all I have today for uh, formation subs. Uh, if you guys have anything you would like me to add or if you have any questions, please put uh, your, your uh, comments in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer anything that I can or anything that I've heard in the comment section. I will be uh, checking in from time to time, making sure that I'm seeing what you guys are commenting. Uh, next week, we're gonna talk about the Frostbite engine. While I was at EA Play, I was able to play FIFA and the Frostbite uh, engine is legit. So uh, next week, I wanna talk about how the Frostbite engine can be incorporated into Madden 18 and beyond. Now, we're not 100% sure that the Frostbite engine is gonna be in Madden 18, but after playing it and talking to the devs about it, I'm very intrigued on how they can incorporate it and how the, the coding in the game could be changed to kind of help us get a couple extra features that we want. Uh, once again, make sure you guys follow at Albinus on uh, Twitter and uh, follow him or uh, go to the website at web3ks.com to get all things graphics for you guys. If you want to do like a new profile, if you want to add graphics to your website. It doesn't matter what it is. This guy can do it. He is amazing at what he does. Once again, it's for affordable solutions for all your creative needs. Until next time, this is DK signing out. Peace, guys.